Now we will do a more complicated example. So example two, let f of x be equal to 4x squared plus x minus 5. And let's calculate f prime of x. Just like in the previous example, we always start by calculating f of x plus h. Now, f of x plus h is equal what? And of course, how do we find f of x plus h? Wherever we see x, we replace it by x plus h. So, because the input is x plus h, this is our input. So, this is going to be 4 times our input squared plus our input minus 5. Now, we need to FOIL x plus h squared. Uh, let's use the identity because it's so easy. If we use the identity a plus b squared, it's equal a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. This means that this is equal 4. x plus a squared means the first term squared, which is x squared, plus 2 times first term times second term, which is 2xh, plus second term squared, which is 8 squared plus x plus h minus 5. Now this is equal to, we distribute the 4, we get 4x squared plus 8xh plus 4h squared plus x plus h minus 5. And now let's calculate f prime of x. So we need to write the definition. Definition says this is equal to limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x everything over h f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches zero everything is going to be over h now f of x plus h is right here we just found it so it's 4 x squared plus 8 x h plus 4 h squared plus x plus h minus 5 minus f of x is right here don't forget the parentheses so this is 4x squared plus x minus 5 now as a next step we need to distribute the negative one in other words you need to multiply by negative one so this is a limit as h approach 0 4x squared plus 8xh plus 4h squared plus x plus h minus 5 distribute a negative 1 be minus 4x squared minus x plus 5 and everything is over h on the next step we're gonna cancel some stuff in there so f prime of x is equal limit as h approach 0 we want everything to be over h. Now 4x squared will be cancelled with negative 4x squared. x will be gone with minus x. Minus 5 plus 5 is also 0. So this is 8xh plus 4h squared plus h. Now like usual on our next step we always factor the h. So you can cancel it with the h in the denominator. So f prime of x is equal limit as h approach 0. If we factor h, we're going to have 8x plus 4h plus 1, everything over h. Simplify the h. This is going to be equal limit 8x plus 4h. Ooh plus 1 as h approach 0 now plug in now we're going to do the limit all we need to do plug in the 0 for h so this is going to be equal 8 x plus 4 times 0 plus 1 which is equal to 8 x plus 1 so that's f prime of x and we're done with the example